I mean, I've just released his 13th LP, The Death of Slim Shady Coup de Gras, which left a lot of fans and people divided. First of all, most, no one can really downplay Eminem at this point. His rapping skills is probably one of the best in the industry. And what he's done in the past, I mean, he's just a pioneer of the genre at this point. He's done a lot of great stuff. This album, however, is kind of weird from the get-go. Um, I would say it's probably the most different kind of Eminem album that you have uh, out there. Uh, it is a chronological concept album, which is ultimately leading up to the execution of his alter ego Slim Shady. The album on itself is then acting like a way to publicly apologize for the character Slim Shady. He displays Slim Shady as a more edgy and exaggerated version of himself that is very one-dimensional, arguably even more than ever before. The album is an open apology for his wrongdoings, in a way. He plays audio clips of when he's high on drugs and his daughter Elena comes in and asks him to wake up. He calls out the hypocrisy of him rapping about drugs despite of him being sober for almost 16 years. And he also calls out himself for creating beefs and pretty much bully people throughout his career. So what did I think about the album, really? Um, yeah, well, it's a very ambitious project. And from a non-musical sense, I think it is a very interesting one that obviously isn't as shallow as you would first think. I think we've all seen the clips of him uh, like saying you wanna Gen Z me bruh and yeah just the cringy things. I mean it, it, the album is filled with regret and sorrow and I think that is the main concept of the album and that he wants to part with this kind of lifestyle in a way. However, it feels really convenient and almost like a very easy way out uh, for him putting all of the blame on an alternate character. Uh, kind of just... It, it feels like he kind of just dismiss everything he's done. Just put the blame on this character, killing this character and then moving on. Because this is not him. Obviously, that's not what he tries to to tell us, but that's really what it feels like. But then again, I mean, he is trying to tell us that they are the same person. Uh, he says it in, in various tracks, that you are me and I, I'm you and you're just a part of me, yada yada. But the two personas are so different, so... For us listeners, it is really hard to connect and like see it as, as him taking responsibility for his actions in a way. Do call out Slim Shady for several bad decisions, whether it be bad parenting, drug abuses, starting beefs with people, or just being an edge lord in general. However, he also kind of says it is thanks to Slim Shady that he got the fame that he did and I guess also acknowledges that. Where I feel that the concept really falls flat is that it isn't really him coming out clean. I think that he thinks that he does that, but I don't think that feeling is shared with most of the people. For most of us, it kind of just feels like he wanted to say some edgy stuff and then hide behind his character. At least that's what I get from a lot of the reviews. I get the idea, I admire it, but I think the execution was lackluster and probably not as deep as he probably would have hoped. Okay then, musically speaking, I think it is a very classic and uh, new style Eminem album in the sense that there are some highs and some really low lows. I feel like Fuel is probably 
the best track on the album. JID can't seem to miss at the moment. And it's also really interesting to listen to two of the most technical gifted rappers in the scene on the same track. So that was really nice. But as an overall, I would probably rate the album probably around 6 out of 10. It isn't as horrendous as some people make, uh, make it out to be, but I feel like it falls really heavily on the concepts more than the songs. I really do feel like Eminem released the album to come clean in a way, and that I totally respect. Instead of making a tweet long, he released an album, which is, yeah, massive respect for that, honestly. What did you guys think? Do you think the concept was something entirely different? Was the album overrated, underrated? Please let me know what you think. See ya.